Here now in Arena tonight, Lipscomb wins over Tennessee Tech 78 to 60. They make a 32 point turnaround down by 14, win it here by 18, 78 to 60. Jonathan and Justin Seaman court cyber joined by the leading score for the Bisons, freshman KJ Johnson out of Lewisburg in Marshall County. And KJ, congratulations on a, another big scoring night that came on late again, had to pick it up in the second half. Yes, sir. Uh, we started off kind of slow in the first half, but I feel like we really came together as a team and we started moving the ball and getting, we started knocking down our uh, open shots in the second half. Well, no, no question. First of all, best hair in the building here tonight. <laughs> we got, tell us a little bit, because a lot of fans haven't, haven't got a chance to meet you. What, what's the story behind the hair coming in, freshman? And uh, I know you started it last year. Uh, well, I started like my freshman year of high school. Uh, I started growing it out. Um, my sophomore year, I cut it, like I kind of trimmed it the second the second year. I started playing bad, like after I trimmed <laughs> it, so I never trimmed it again after that. So it's been like four years since I've cut it and just kind of st superstitious. I can almost walk in there and be an umbrella when yeah. it's raining <laughs> like this, and I'm going to be in Vermont. If it starts snowing, I'm going to look you up, okay? How about the adjustment from high school to college? How's it been for you? Uh, it's, it's definitely been a pretty tough uh, adjustment, but I feel like uh, I'm improving more and more every day. and. Coach Acuff is really helping me through that. And, uh, he's encouraging me even when I have bad days. And it's just the pace is a little bit faster and it's obviously a little more physical, but I think I'm uh, adjusting pretty well. I thought this was a game. You only have three points at halftime, but you're, you're one of those players what we've seen in this early part of the season. When, when you get in rhythm, when you start scoring, you, you like to get that ball quickly and kind of score some in bunches. Yes, sir. Uh, I kind of, I was slow in the first half a little bit. And the defense, they were kind of sucked in on me. They were waiting for me to drive. So. I was just trying to kick it out as much as I could. But in the second half, it started opening up because my teammates were knocking down shots. So it kind of freed up the paint for me. Well, I hope this has been a good learning here in this non-conference. I know everybody's getting excited about going through the next couple of games, but getting ready for a sun play. Yes, sir. I'm excited for a conference play. Uh, we, I feel like we're, we're going to be prepared for it. And we're definitely, we've gotten better since the start of the season. And I'm excited to see where we uh, land in the uh, a sun tournament. Congratulations on the win tonight. Get some warm clothes on. It's going to be cold when you go up north. K.J. Johnson, our guest here tonight, as he ends the night with 16 points leading the way for the Bisons as they win this game 78-60. to Rebounding, advantage to Lipscomb, 36-31. to Big advantage in assists, Lipscomb with 18-7. to When you look at the shooting field goal percentages, Lipscomb shooting nearly 51% to just over under 43%, that is, for Tech. Three-point shooting, 44% to 33. Lipscomb with a great night, really, shooting 11 of 25 from outside the arc, 8 of 24 for Tech tonight. And joining us courtside now, head coach Lenny Acuff and coach I don't know what you say at halftime. It was rusty. I think you got out of can of WD-40 and just started spraying it on everybody. Well, I, I told them at halftime, I said, we look like a team that's played one game in 14 days um, and just got out of finals. But, you know, I think you got to tip your hat to them. I thought they came ready mm, to play. I thought they had good energy. They really got us on our heels the first eight to ten minutes. Um, but, you know, there's so many hidden things in the game. The biggest possession of the game was I think we're down 12. And Caleb Coleman hits a three off the out of bounds play, and then we get they get a foul, and then we score. So that was a five point trip, and and then we just then we were kind of able to settle in. We just couldn't stop them, and uh, but I thought we played a lot cleaner in the second half. And I heard you referencing a little bit earlier. You know, we shoot 42 percent from three. When we do that, we, we can play with a lot of people. I thought too that the second half. I mean, the first half I thought they did a great job with Hassan down low, doubling on every yeah. touch. And some of his uh, nice passes in the second half weren't so great in the first half. Right. But in the second half, you go back to your bread and butter. You go yeah. down to him. And then it seems like when he gets going, that just opens everything up. And then KJ got going. He, he did. I, I, Asan, he slowed down a little bit in the second half. And um, he, he's such a good passer. It's hard to double him. And then we're making threes. That always helps. I, and KJ, KJ, I don't know what he's averaging in the second half of games, but it's a bunch. He's really talented. I, I thought the guy that really, really, really helped us tonight off the bench was Greg Jones. Yeah. And I was real proud for Greg because Greg didn't get off to a great start this year. But, but I tell you what, he's rallied, and um, I thought he was a big key to the game coming in and making threes. Anytime you can have an inside-out game, hit the threes, and also you got a player like KJ who's learning how to drive and pitch and yep. get it back outside. Well, that's what we talked about. You know, they're going to start game planning for him and when he drives if they run everybody at him he's got to kick it and I thought the second half he did a better job of that and you know that like I've said to you guys a couple of times the thing that's really good about KJ is he wants to be coached and he will listen and, and he wants to be a good player and it's really hard to improve if you're not coachable and he's so coachable and that makes it a lot of fun you go from 14 down and win by 18 
Yeah, it was a good run. Like I said, I, I thought they did a nice job early. We, we I, I was a little surprised and disappointed how we started because we've really practiced well the last three days. And I thought we practiced with a lot of energy and effort. And But we just came out and they just hit us with the first punch. But I thought we had a strong chin. And, and I tell our guys all the time, in, in this game, you've got to have a strong chin. And you got to be willing to take that first lick and keep coming back. But I thought we held our poise. I thought Buckland was really good tonight, too. Buck is, he, I tell you what he's done. He not only shoot good tonight in the game, he's been shooting it well in practice. So I was glad to see that for him because he's just, he's our stabilizer. He, he's our guy that stabilizes. And, and um, I, we're getting better. Um, now, you know, we get to go to Vermont, and I told them we're going somewhere most of us have never been and probably will never go back. So, <laughs> so we ought to go and enjoy it. It's going to be about 30 degrees colder than it is here as well. I, I did see today the high is 12 while we're up there, so <laughs> you better remember that now. Um, but we're, we're looking forward to it. I, I, I'm, I feel like we're moving in the right, di right direction. We do have some pockets of play we've got to eliminate because you're going to run into better teams down the road that the game will just end. You know, you, instead of being down 14, you're going to be down 20, and the game's probably over. But um, I think we're making progress, and, you know, we're sitting here at five and six, and you guys know we're really close to being much better than that. So, but we, we got to just keep living through the windshield, you know, and just keep getting better. Coach, I got my warm clothes pack. I got something for my head. You better hey, get I, something, I, too. I, I've got that covered, I promise you, Jonathan. <laughs> we're going to. We're gonna. Um, we're, we're looking forward to going. We're gonna get out here on Thursday and play Friday night, and then let them go home for Christmas. And uh, but I appreciate the people that came out tonight. I know there's a lot going on. We don't have students. Those are hard games to play. Well, but coach, Merry Christmas to you. We'll look at the schedule one more time. Going to be at Vermont to play on Friday night, and then hey, it doesn't get any easier, coach. You're gonna go to the SEC, take on Auburn on the 29th. Yeah, that's an easy game, and there's nothing much to that. They, they're probably playing better than anybody in the country right now. So. Um, yeah, we got and, and Vermont. If you look at our schedule, not obviously Duquesne, they're undefeated. Auburn's undefeated. There's four Division One teams undefeated. We're playing three of them: <laughs> Duquesne, for, uh, Duquesne, Auburn, and Liberty. And so, and then our other mid majors were Belmont. I mean, it, it has not been an easy road, but but we're going to be better for it at the end of the day. Well, A Sun starts at Stetson in Florida Gulf Coast, and then finally back home December 9th, take on Kennesaw State. Of course, you can keep up with everything along with Lipscomb Sports and Lipscomb Basketball. Tonight they went over Tennessee Tech. Check it all out at LipscombSports.com.